Okay. <laughs> this is the viola. <laughs> I'm going to put it here, and I want you to open the case, because I'm going to tell you how to get it set up to play. Alright, first thing, actually, is bad me. Let's put it on the board. It's on the floor, so if we don't drop it, first thing we want to do is get the bow out. So you want to get the bow. See? <laughs> Just like... There you go. And first thing we're gonna do, I'll show you, is tighten the, the horse hair. So basically what you wanna do is you put your left thumb on the metal clip there because it helps, like this part moves when you loosen and tighten the bow hair. So if you put your thumb there, it keeps it from being like stressed unnecessarily, like it helps it out. So you put your thumb there and this, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we wanna tighten it and you can see from the profile, you see how you can see it tightening. So we want it to be about that tight, but I'm gonna loosen it and let you do it. So it's like, it's almost like the width of your finger. So you can see. Yeah, I'm like, looks good. Uh, a little tighter. There you go. Okay, so rule number one of the bow is uh, don't touch the horse hair. The reason for that, this this white part is the horse hair. Just clarification. Uh, the reason for that is that the oils in your hand will degrade the hair. The hair just it rots it basically. The natural oils that come out of your hand. So if you want to put that on the chair, we'll do the rest of the instrument. <sighs> Actually. I lied. We're going to put rosin on the bow hair. So this is rosin. We take it out of the case. And you can... Exactly. And for this bow, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our left thumb over the clip thing there. And on a viola, you can just take it... You see how that side's been worn or whatever. You just take it and you rub back and forth all the way across the bow. Like, how hard do you do it? You can put a fair amount of pressure on it and it won't hurt it. Yeah, that looks good. And it might not seem like you're really getting anything on there, but it, it is. So, Add them on. Uh, maybe one more time of what you just did, because these are brand new instruments. Yeah, so when a bow is new, you're going to have to rosin it more than when it's been used a lot. Yeah, yeah looks good. All right, so do you know why we use rosin? No idea. Well, let's see. Well, uh, if you feel, once you feel, like, press your thumb down pretty hard on that, and if you feel that it's kind of sticky. Mm -hmm. It's not sticky like gum is sticky, but it's got kind of a tack to it. And when we rub it on our bow, um, it comes off in kind of a powdery, sticky mm -hmm. uh, film on the, on the bow hair. And what that does is it helps uh, grab the, the strings. So, like for example, for example, when we pull, I want you to watch. I'm gonna play on the, the biggest string because it's easiest to see. We pull and we put the, we lay the, the bow down on the string. There's this moment where the the hair like pulls on the string, and you can see it start to vibrate. You see what I'm saying? You want to try it? It doesn't really matter how you hold the bow for now. <laughs> yeah, so with, without the rosin, and you can see on that string, Yeah. you can see where there's rosin yeah. on the string. Okay. So, uh, forget I lost my train of thought. Without the rosin, it makes like, it just doesn't like, it's a really weak sound, a screechy, really soft sound on the strings. So, okay, now for the actual viola, if you want to put the bow down for real this time. Um, a lot of times people have real fancy, like, chin rests and neck rests and stuff. For this, we just have a good little piece of foam. So, um, I'm gonna show you how to set that up, and then I'll have you do it. Basically, I just put it around the little end part there. And across there. 
so that, that shouldn't really get in your way. And then the small part goes right inside where your, where your shoulder will be. And I'm just going to try to align it with where the chin rest is. So that when you put it up, there's the foam there so that there's not quite as much like room to make up right there where your shoulder is. So you want to try putting that on? It just helps because most of the weight is going to be held up uh, by your shoulder and chin. Yep, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to have you hold the instrument. So, what we want to do is this part here is under the left like jaw. And should, we should be able to hold it so that there's not, so that you're not having to like, I mean there's obviously pressure because there's weight there. Mm -hmm. But you should be able to hold it up with just your chin. Do you want to try it? Because otherwise that puts a lot of stress on. There you go. It's a lot of stress on your hand. Right on the right or the left? Left. Yep. Mm -hmm. And your left hand, yeah, your left hand will be on the fingerboard. Yeah, it's kind of, it's really <laughs> awkward at first. It is awkward because like for me, I know. Yeah. I wasn't used to, I mean, I'm not used to anything that like sits underneath your chin, right? So don't worry about looking stupid. <laughs> we all look stupid. So if you want to get like more of your, you might even have to turn your head a little bit to get it like, like this way. Okay. Uh, let me see. Like, do you see how like my, my head is still straight this way, but it's, turned like laterally. Okay. <laughs> so it's almost like you want to turn your head and then press down into your shoulder. And press your chin down into yeah. your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that feels better. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Still awkward, but... <laughs> I'll hold it so that we won't drop okay. it, but do you want to try? Yeah, good. Okay, cool. So the thought behind that is that then you won't have a whole bunch of stress on your, mm -hmm. on your hand over here. Because otherwise that's, if you're holding it up and yeah, trying to, that's not be uncomfortable. So next thing we're going to learn is where to put your left hand. And uh, I'll show you. This would be easier if we had two of these, but oh well. <laughs> I'll show you. A uh, bad habit of mine is to do this because it feels better to mm -hmm. have more of my hand there. But you're actually supposed to hold it out like that so that you can, okay. if you got to the point where you were shifting and stuff, it would be easier to move. So why don't you try just putting, it doesn't really matter, just your thumbs out to the side. It's not underneath or anything like that. It's just comfortable out to the side. And make sure that you can, you know, like reach the strings. Okay. With all of your fingers. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. It's, Is it supposed to be tight? I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you look fine. Like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to bring that out. Alright, I'm just going to touch it. Cause... There, and then we want to curl our fingers around make sure that we can reach all the strings. I have small hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have like man hands. So, Okay, cool. Uh, now we're going to learn how to hold the bow. So I'll take that from you. You don't have to worry about the awkwardness of the wood, <laughs> piece of wood sticking out of the side of your neck. All right, so basically this little guy right here is called the frog, okay? <laughs> and our thumb, our right thumb, uh, wants to sit on this little space between the grip and the frog. Okay. So it's gonna sit, the tip of it's gonna sit right there. And then we're gonna bring that down so that it's across our, uh, the big joint in our fingers, the large one, not the small one up here, mm -hmm. but the large one. And then we're going to Wait for it, fancy word, curl it. Mm. <laughs> so that our pinky sits sits on top. Okay. So let's let's try it. And we'll start out the way we started out in class, uh, which is involves me touching your hands more. So basically <laughs> just drop your hand into my hand and, and just let go. Don't support it at all. 
Yeah, so if I let go of it, it should just fall, right? Good. So that's, that's the way we want to start with our hands. And I'll put this into your hand. So we're going to put it across that joint. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to put this, this little part should be between, like, you know, live long and prosper. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, and then your thumb, yeah, the tip of your thumb goes right in there. And then we're going to pronate <laughs> so that your pinky sits on top. Okay. Okay, and if you want to flip that over. That's awkward. That's the basic, it is, yeah, it's hard really at first. Awkward. If you can okay, believe it, base, base bow hold, it feels even worse, but. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> well, because it's like, yeah. vertical or, yeah. Anyway, it's heavy and whatnot. So here comes the fun part, Garrett. Are you ready? <laughs> Put everything You get to play. Hooray. Okay, so for sake of your sanity, I'll hold this while you do that. <laughs> Good deal. Okay. Good deal. I don't know if that's helping you a lot. Not really. Try that. Is that yeah, better? That's better, yeah. Okay. Cool. So you got it set up and make sure that the weight's in the chin. I won't let you drop it. Yeah, there you go. Um, and now we're going to put the bow in this hand. Good. I'll help you out. <laughs> okay. okay. And then we're going to put the pinky on top. So the pressure. <laughs> is going to be between your thumb and mm -hmm. kind of like these two knuckles. Okay. Okay? So our goal with the bow is to make sure that our hands are curved, and I know it feels awkward. It's like the most awkward thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the first time I played flute. I was like afraid I was going to drop it. <laughs> but that's, you, you're looking pretty good, actually, the way you're holding it right now. Okay? So I just want you to try playing a note. When we put our bow on the string, we're just gonna put it lightly down, and you want to put the bow so it's in the middle of, of uh, the bridge. That's the bridge, and the fingerboard. Okay. And if you just want to pull, close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is something you can really only learn by doing, which is how much weight you want on the strings. So right now it feels a little light. So can you put a little bit more weight on the strings? All right. So between the first and the second. Good, you want to push across? It doesn't matter if, if it sounds bad, it's okay. Yeah. You hear how it's starting to speak a little bit better? Yeah. So you just, you kind of have to feel it. I can't, you know, it's not one of those things of, well, put uh, <laughs> exactly 0.93 uh, yeah. grams of weight, you know. So um, why don't you try playing each string in turn? Because you're going to have to tilt up and down. So you're trying to play the highest one? No, I was trying to play the middle one. Oh, okay. The same. Yeah, this is what I always do too. Do you feel that weight? Yeah, it's lighter. You want to try the other strings backwards now? If you notice, but if the strings are bigger, a lot of times you have to use more weight on yeah, the bigger strings to get them to vibrate. And that's just weight, you know, yeah. it's, it's just that they're thicker. You have to put a little bit more weight into it to get them to vibrate. Good. So I think the last thing, let's see. Yeah, okay, the last thing we're going to learn is um, we'll learn how to play a quick song, okay? So, well, why don't we learn, we can learn a scale, that'd probably be easier. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, let me hear. My baby finger. Basically, I'll show you. Like I said, it'd be easier if we had two, but it's life. Um, your basic idea here, obviously, is that you're going to press your fingers down on the strings to get them to change pitch from what they naturally are, right? So, for example... So, um, generally speaking, the hand that's on the fingerboard, our middle two fingers are going to be closer together, and our fingers are basically going to look like that. Okay. It's almost like a W. 
think so. Can you show me a W? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so uh, when our fingers are on the fingerboard, I want you to watch again as I play like this. Up to, up to soul and back. Do you see how there's a bigger space between yeah. my pointer and middle? Mm -hmm. And then there's a bigger space between my pinky and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's basically what we're going to do. We're just going to play up to soul and back. And ideally, like, if we had more time, we'd learn Twinkle Twinkle or something. <laughs> Fun like that. Part. It is, isn't it? Like, I didn't realize that it was that hard. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Alright, cool. So, why don't we play the open string first? This one? Mm -hmm. Highest one? Just the open string on the highest string, yep. Good, now we're going to try the first pitch. So, just press down your first finger. Good! It's in a good place, actually. So, we want to make sure as you play. That your your hand should actually it feels really tight right now. Mm -hmm. So you just try to yeah. So play the first pitch. Yep. Okay, good. More of space. Just you do have small hands. so tiny. <laughs> well, okay. Lesson. If you were a kid, I'd probably start you on violin rather than yeah. viola. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got, you have the basic idea. That's that's all I really wanted you to yeah. do. That's, that's good. So, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, if you were a kid, I'd start on violin. Because yeah. I, kind of, I did totally. bass and, uh, and, and viola for this class because oh. I'm kind of a tall, yeah. big person. So <laughs> I volunteered to be the one that was like, Rrr, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's good. Like I said, if we had more time, we would do Twinkle Twinkle. Um, another good way to practice is you can actually, you can strum, so. <laughs> See, I can like adjust it if it's not, if the pitch yeah. is kind of weird. That's cool. And it's also visually really helpful because I can see yeah. really well where my fingers are. Okay, so there's that. Um, trying to think. Uh, rest position is something you would need to know if you're in a class. It's just under your arm. Keeps the kids from playing when you don't want them to. <laughs> so if you want to try that. A lot of people are like, I was kind of afraid I would break it at first, but yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Like that. Good, yeah. And then <laughs> we'll learn a few words, a few vocab words. Um, do you know what these are called? Nope. Just tuning pegs. These are... Yeah, those are fun. Do you know what this is called? Nope. That's the scroll. Yes. And we just we were just talking about what this is called. Fingerboard? Yes, very good. Fingerboard, and I bet you know what these are called. Springs. Yes. <laughs> and do you know what this is? I so mentioned what that was called too. Yeah, the bridge. And these? No idea. Those are the F holes. If you look at them, they look like Fs. Let's see. Those are the F holes. And these are fine tuners. These come on beginning ones, so that it's easier to tune. And then we talked about this. Generous. Generous, good. And this is not a fancy one, but... Foam? <laughs> Foam. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, I think on that note... <laughs> no, uh, I do want you to uh, put it away. That's the last thing, I promise. I know I've said that like ten times. Alright. But uh, let's do it from like backward order, so... Okay. Do you remember what she did last? Last. Put this thing on. Yep. You got it. And um, there's a little pocket up here. Yep. Cool. For the um, rubber. For the rubber band. Cool, cool. And then we're gonna lay that back in the case. Yep. And then I usually take the foam and put it up by the scroll like okay. that because it's kind of shaped like that anyway. Cool. All right, and then. Yep, and we want to loosen it first. So you just put your thumb on the clip. Lefty loosey. And that goes with. I want to say the bow hair goes in. I always have to try it twice. But the tip goes down in there, so you want to put the tip in first. Yep. Yep, and then move that over to the 
That's good. Oh, and the rosin. We forgot the rosin. Put that up here too. Okay. Thanks. There we go. And I'm gonna just latch it up. Good deal. Now you know how to plug the oil. Hooray.